morning morning everybody michelle is here on this wednesday may the 15th 2024 what you say ah i'm up and at it minding my own business you know what i mean and i thought i'd come on through and and talk to you how about that oh so I rested very well. I rested very well. And so, and I'm feeling good like I know I should. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, and I wanted to um, talk about something that is um, very important that everybody, everybody reconsider something. I got all this lint on my shirt. I, I suggest everybody revisit this word that we are throwing around like pancakes, you know, all over the place <laughs> about um, which is a values and virtues. What, what are values and virtues to you? You know, a lot of us need to um, consider our values and virtues and what that means and how it relates to you're developing yourself, you know, values and virtues is usually what, what does that mean to you? And there can be list and list and list and list and list of it, of things that value to you individually. And so that's why we have to be so careful if we're going to be throwing out certain things. It may not even, it, it relates individually. So when it relates individually, what does that mean? It's meaningless. I mean, not meaningless, but it could be meaningful for, you know, in various ranges of the individuals. It depends on how the individual is developing, what their values and virtues are, right? So let me see what list of, of values and virtues that, you know, I suggest everyone just go through and say, hey, what is what does that mean to me? And a lot of people mean may not be able to answer that because it all depends on the individual. So it's going to be individual internal work to know what your values and virtues are. I mean, I can, I can tell you what mine are, but that, that'll be irrelevant because, you know, that's my innermost being of what I consider my values and virtues versus yours. Now we can be comparative, especially if we get into a partnership together or a relationship together or a marriage together with someone. Yes, that's what makes certain interpersonal relationships is you can tap into them, become so rich and beautiful and loving with chaos too and just, you know, and all that other stuff that comes with it. But if you go deep with people, and I think that's whether, you know, whether whoever it is that approaches your life because no one comes into your life just by chance, okay? So when someone does come into your life, that's just a teaching moment for you. It can be a revelation to you. It can be, you know, a, a combination of a whole lot of things. But at the end, it's, it's, it's developing you. It's providing you with experiences. And that's what a human being, human being needs in order to evolve themselves. It's experiences, you know. So values and virtues is, is, um, is a fundamental thing to really grip yourself with what does that mean to me not to anyone else but what does that mean to me and it's so important to understand the various stage uh, levels of, of let me just tell you why i say that because a lot of people are talking about that they're talking about this one word in particular and uh loyalty what does loyalty mean to you as as opposed to Okay, so in other words, what do you know about loyalty? Have you had any experience with loyalty? You know, what does that mean to you? It says here in, in you know, online, when you go online, loyalty is a devotion to a country, philosophy, group, person. And, they, and it has here that philosophers disagree on what can be an object of loyalty. As some argue that loyalty is strictly in a personal and 
only another human being can be the object, object of loyalty. Uh, and then there's def different definitions of loyalty, you know, because there's loyalty in law, supposedly, in political science, supposedly, to a nation, supposedly. And I say supposedly because that may not even be true at all. If you haven't had the experience, right? But it's going to be an individual experience. So loyalty can mean something completely different for me than it is for you. So when people say, I want loyalty, you need to be very clear and, you know, clear and effective about what, what that means to you. What loyalty of what? Because it says here, it has, it, you know, it could be a loyalty to of what? Of law, political science. Your nation? Is it a philosophy? Is it a group? A person? So we're just gonna have to change our we're gonna have to change our mode of thinking and our mode of you know uh, expressing ourselves so that we can be clear and effective and no and and no one can mis misunderstand what you're talking about. And they talk about other dimensions of loyalty. Uh, Talk about Socrates again. <laughs> and then it says here, you know, a lot of people say this, blood is thicker than water. That And that supposedly explains loyalty on the biological ties. Blood is thicker than water. And then it has the... Uh, legitimacy. It has a legitimacy about it. It says here... People with one loyalty can hold another. I mean, people with one loyalty can hold that another. Conflicting loyalty is either legitimate or illegitimate. And then they have here is an attitude. Patriotism, employment, whistleblowing. You know, those, those factors are post, supposedly are falling on the loyalty. They have a loyalty business model. Okay, who follows a loyalty business model? Think about that seriously because there's something brewing that's going to reveal that. Okay, all right. And, you know, they say people misplace loyalty, um, you know. So my, my point is that you know, when you, when you, you know, we can't, we can, we can do whatever we want. Remember, we have free will. And if you want to say, yeah, I know this. If you, if you want to say that you want loyalty and, you know, loyalty, you got, you got to be more clear and effective about that. You can't just throw that out because whoever is paying attention to that is going to assume stuff. They say, oh, okay, this person wants loyalty. And, and you know, you need to be really clear and effective about when you, you know, when you, especially when you're in a group setting with people, when you, when you're talking about loyalty, okay, well, loyalty on what scale? So we may have to replace loyalty with something else. That's the point. Evolve that loyalty into something that's more meaningful to you. And relates to you and your situation. It's an individual, it's an individual path that's consciously developed. You have to develop it via your consciousness, evolution, evolving your consciousness. So I read a lot of, you know, as I told you, but I usually just read I what I do now is focus on certain books now. I don't, I haven't bought it. I mean, I'll buy, look, you know, I used to have thousands upon thousands of books, you know, in my possession at one point. And when I decided to, uh, but when I decided to move around, you know, that became, that, that, that became a load to carry all those books. So I had to take them all, a lot of them back to the, to the library. Okay. Now with that being said that, you know, I still have a handful of books that I go to constantly, that I've had for a long time, that I just go back to those because they're, you know, they're teaching books to me. And then I take care, I, and I take, um, use the opportunity of what I find online, 
by you know that's how I self educate myself. So in other words, you know sometimes you can have a handful of books that are self educating you without having to purchase them. But because the reason I say that is because you can find a lot of it online. But you know a lot of it has is being changed. Like loyalty, I, I, I bet if people read loyalty, they probably say, wait, wait a second, I don't, I don't think I really understand loyalty, and I can guarantee that's what that that is what's going to be said with a lot of values and virtues. What's your values and virtues? Like, um, for me, I mean, gosh, if if my videos hadn't <laughs> if my videos haven't displayed my values and virtues, then my videos have been wasteful. And I know, again, with who I resonate with, with my sounds and tones. And I'm not going to reach everybody. And that's illogical to believe so. I, you can only approach those that are willing to, 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 to rock to your melody, to sway to your melody, your sounds and tones, your rhythm. You know, that, you know somebody, that, somebody or people, a group of people, whatever. The numbers are irrelevant because if you can touch one person, that's powerful. A lot of people don't recognize how powerful that is. If you can just reach one, but no, we want millions. We want billions, and you know, in most in most cases, all that all that's doing is putting on a whole lot of expectations of you. Because if you believe you're being followed by a million people, how are you going to act? Is it within the frame of your values and virtues? You know, I mean, I say no, but that's my opinion. So, there's a lot of things we just need to, you know, if you, if you choose to, you know, if you want to evolve yourself, it's going to take some time. And there's a lot of effort involved. Anyone telling you to work, uh, to work, uh, don't work hard, work smart and all that rambling and garbage that people are putting out, then, you know, just 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 consider stepping back a little bit about what you are saying on the social media platform, saying to people in, in, in your circle, in your group, in your sphere, you know, because I hear it all the time. I want loyalty. Okay, loyalty to, you, to what? You know, and, and whoever is whoever is putting, I mean, whoever is listening to someone say that to them, the next question is, okay, on what scale? On what scale do you want my loyalty? That's why I say informants are wasteful and, and damaging to uh, the um, expression of genuinely law-abiding law citizens. A lot of people are just getting set up in these uh, fraudulent uh, schemes in these fraudulent investigations, in these fraudulent, you know, uh, behaviors and actions, because they think they're getting an edge on people. They think that they are the experts as to how to pull out certain important information from people. They have no idea what they're doing. All they're doing is destroying people's psyche and, and affecting their consciousness by believing that they know how to integrate integrate people and how they know how to handle people when they don't really understand themselves. And, and I would say in 90% of the time, when people are uh, using fraudulent tactics just to get in front of your face, they don't know who the hell they are at all. I would, I would say 99%. Because if, you, if they understood who they were, they would not participate in that habit at all because it's a cause and effect. Cause and effect is going to have a lot of people up at night when the storms are coming, when the when certain things are happening out of their control, weather related. And you're going to be you're going to be you're going to be met with a whole lot of things that you wish you could have resolved or wish you could have uh, not participated in. OK, so find out what loyalty means to you. Um and, and and a whole lot of other words that people keep throwing out, you know, just throwing out into the air and throwing out without specifics. So what's going to happen is logic is going to step in. And when logic steps in, logic can be a, I mean, something that it could be a deal breaker. Okay. Understand logic. 
when you throw out certain terminology or ideology, um, because again, we are individuals on a path. Yes, we are like-mindedness. We have similar uh, uh, um, attributes about our paths that was that were supposed to make us collective. But since we're all scrambling all over the place, it's going to only touch a certain amount of people that will resonate with you, who will be of your like-mindedness, who will do everything in their power to understand you. But the, but but the but the the uh, the love the, it's it's an act of love to want to understand people. That's an act of love because it, it requires a whole lot of effort. You know, it's an act of love to want to spread universal love. Okay, and it's a beautiful thing to want to understand someone. That's beautiful, especially if you have a an attraction to them. You are inspired by them. You are, you know, you kind of, you know, you know, you you value their results, and it's not materialistic either. You value how they treat other people in your presence, or when you know, or when they, you know, it's always best to to pay attention to to people when they don't know you're paying attention to them, and that's a skill and ability as well. I mean, if I go into a restaurant with someone, you know, we're at dinner. And they are carrying on, I mean, carrying on and upset with, with every little thing, the waitress or the service person or whatever. They, they're just all, nothing is um, acceptable to them. And, you know, in the way they're be, just behaving with strangers, pay attention to how people behave with strangers. Pay attention to that. Okay, so... Logical fallacy hmm, is an argument that may sound convincing and true, but is actually flawed. Logical fallacy. And I've talked about fallacies, you know, because that's going to be uh, uh, a turning moment, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. Okay. So I wanted to throw that out this morning. To say to you, um, consider what your values and virtues are. And, you know, look, if you don't know what values mean, no one will know that you, no one has to know what you're doing. Okay, look it up. Okay, what does values mean? Values meaning. What is it? I'm just typing it in here. In ethics, in sociology, in business, that's what I'm telling you. It, it, there's a scale of it. So when you're talking about certain things, what scale are you on? You know, what, you know, it says here, um, ethics matter because it is a part of many groups define themselves, how they are defining themselves. Okay. Values, ethic and social sciences, ethical value, is sometimes synonymous with goodness, value, and goodness, okay? And virtues. What are virtues? No one has to know you're doing these things. Virtues. And a lot of it has a lot of religious overtones, which I uh, I, I do not approve of that, but you no, know, because... You need to be able to separate all of that. Although, if you cannot separate all of that, you all you're gonna do is get more, and more and more confused. The ego, set it to the side. Your religious uh, beliefs, set it to the side. All your beliefs, set them to the side for a moment. They're there. They're not going anywhere. This is internal work. Okay. Virtues. What does it say about virtues here? Mm -hmm. It's a trait of excellence, including traits that may be moral, social, intellectual. It says the cultivation and the refinement of virtues is held to be the good of humanity and thus is valued as an end purpose of life 
or fundamental principle of being. So this is a lot was loaded with that. <laughs> and your responsibility is to take that time. You know, if you say you love yourself and you talk about self-care, okay, make sure you are being clear and effective about that. Sometimes, you, you know, that's why writing down stuff in your own handwriting does matter. Instead of typing it or speaking it on the cell phone, you know, instead of texting, get out and write stuff in your own handwriting and put it in a place where no one has to know, okay? And put these, these words down on paper, you know, and don't type it. I know a lot of people are talking about typewriters. No, put it in your own handwriting because in your own handwriting will... <clears throat> will illustrate how you are developing because if you can't put it down in your own handwritings and you are writing it in your own words that ought to be something to really pay attention to okay so i'm going to say that for now i'm not going to say too much more about that right now it's a whole lot honey whole lot going on you know in the world whole lot going on more so in our thoughts and that's what we need to do make the most of attempting to tap into what are you thinking about right now okay so i'm gonna go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains enjoy yourself enjoy each other it's all about universal love trust me i'll be back <laughs>